This week, an alert has been issued for a 27-year-old man in Colorado, the first for the state's new missing Indigenous person alert program. A few other states, including Colorado and Washington, issuing their own programs as thousands of missing and murdered cases, including Indigenous people, remain unsolved. Valeria Castro has more. A first-of-its-kind alert issued in Colorado as a family desperately searches for a missing loved one. We've been calling jails, hospitals, psych wards. I mean, we've been just doing whatever we can. And 27-year-old Wombly V. Hill is the first face on a missing Indigenous person alert in the state just days after the program was enacted. The Colorado Bureau of Investigations issuing the alert Tuesday after V. Hill left a relative's home in Denver and never returned. All we need to know is whether he's safe or not. The 2022 legislation to create such alerts backed by the Missing and Murdered Indigenous Relatives Task Force in the state. My hope is that the alert is never used, but we did develop this alert knowing that, unfortunately, it would probably have to be used. Nationwide, the Bureau of Indian Affairs estimates there are approximately 4,200 missing and murdered cases involving Indigenous people or MMIPs that have gone unsolved. Most are women. Statistically, Native people um, um, suffer rates of violence that are disproportionate to any other demographic in the United States. Advocacy groups believe systemic discrimination and racism can play a role in the attention these cases receive. And this is what we're missing across the MMIP cases nationwide. There is no sense of urgency, whether it's from local media, whether it's from law enforcement, whether it's any other as realm of leadership, there's no reaction. Anybody who works in law enforcement will tell you that the time is of the essence when someone is missing, whether it's a child, whether it's a, an adult. But now a few states, including Colorado and Washington, have enacted specific alerts in an effort to raise awareness. California implementing what it calls the Feather Alert Program as of the first of this year, though no alerts have been issued yet. The Washington State Patrol issuing 32 alerts since that state's program was enacted in July. So that alone to me is a success because we're able to get out and educate and raise awareness to the issue and the, and the problem and the reporting uh, stumbling blocks that families encounter. All but six of those missing have been accounted for. In Colorado, V Hill's family hoping someone recognizes his face. He knows we're here for him. He's got a, a network of people that love him and would do anything to help him.